There's no jealousy or malice or anything of that nature. I saw a family. They asked me if I would go on. As I was walking toward the throne, I met this family that died in an airplane accident. Children, family. They were going on a picnic. They said, would you like to come with us on a picnic? And I went, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that angel and David said, you have an appointment at the throne. I said, I'll see you all later then. Walking in the different things. I'm going through this as quick as I can. When I got to the throne of God, I couldn't stand it. I saw 24 thrones, but no one was sitting in them. And I asked that angel, I asked them 24 elders. He said, yes. I said, well, where are they? He said, Jesse, we are servants here. He said, they're in the city. They're ministering. They're ministering constantly. Servants. You are a servant. We serve you. Everybody serves. It's what you can do. For you always say, can I help? Somebody's always trying to do something for you. The children, the babies singing. If you've had a miscarriage, if you've had an abortion, don't worry about it. You didn't lose your baby. The Lord's got that baby. You never have to worry about it. Never. Never. He holds those. I saw those little souls at the throne of God. They look about this big. Looked like they had a little nightgown on them. And they would fly. They could fly. And they would fly into that presence of Jehovah. And I'd hear them say, can we be a spirit? Can we be a spirit? Would you send us to the earth so we can be a spirit? We want to be a redeemed person. Sounds of the wings. So now like I know how God sends me faith. They look like they don't really do things about this baby. They just go out of the way. Yes, even the song of the martyrs. Yes, that's how you cry. That's how baby was. 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 Stand up. The light was so bright. The angel of the Lord gave me some fruit. He said, eat this so you can withstand the glory of God. The closer you get to the throne, the weaker you become because of the glory of God. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about ready to tell you it's going to shock you. I could not. I saw Jehovah, the Father's feet. But I also, you know, I said it on the tape, I only saw his feet. But he was sitting down and I saw his hand. I mean, this lower part, he was sitting like this in his hand. He is so powerful. I heard this. Massive amount of energy. That's the only way I can explain it. Power. If he would just barely move, a universe would annihilate. Jehovah, Elohim, Yahweh. Just in, in this mat. And I'm looking like this, and I could only just like see his feet. And I saw his finger, his hand, like, you know, the lower part of his body, what I meant. Like that. He did, and these angels flying. Find the great God Jehovah and smoke just coming up and just just in this massive sound. Power like I've never experienced in my life. And these big angels and these had wings flying in that throne saying the great God Jehovah. And just and I saw the hand. And like he said, even though it was, I said it in the tape like it was his feet, but it was in his lower part. His finger did this. I want everybody to see this. His finger just did. And when he moved. An angel of God was thrown up against a wall. The angel went bam, flying. I mean, like if Jehovah just moves without it being calculated, gone. Power. And in this massive light, I'm laying on my face, if I can, like this, literally like this, trying. And I'm getting weaker, looking like this. And out of that massive light, there's one, yet there's two. I see like another individual. They're one, yet they're two. I can say this in tongues. I don't know how to explain this in English. And out of this massive energy of light and love and power comes Jesus. He's, the, he's in the Father. The Father's in Him. He's like in the right hand of God. You understand? I understand that statement. He comes out of that power. And when He came, He comes out in human form, something we can touch. There's mil seem like millions of people at the throne of God just bit the dust. And all of a sudden, he comes out of that light. And there he is, like I saw him, in paradise. And all my life as a minister, I thought he was a teacher. You know, a very mild man and calm person. He came out on that platform, on that throne. You could hear it jump the father once. 
there's power and the people and he came out and he's not a teacher even though i know he teach but he's a preacher and he began to shout jesus shout he said i'm going to get your brothers i'm going to get your sisters i'm going to get your family and i'm bringing them back to this place to live with me he's a preacher he shouts he hides Shambach ain't got nothing on Jesus. He got shout. He hollered. He was excited. People screaming and hollering. I'm laying on the floor trying to clinch this stuff. It was the most powerful. Experience I ever went through. People shout. I mean loud. And he's preaching. I mean, he, and he, he hollers. I was amazed. Because I thought he, you know, he walked around like this. No. Oh, I mean, he's excited. Now, you can't see Jehovah's face in there. At least I could. But I'll explain this statement. I would see Jesus, and he would stop. And I could look at him. See, because the heart of God is the Father. The face of God is the Son, Jesus. The voice of God is the Holy Ghost. But the hand of God is the church. And I saw him, and I seen him turn around several times like this, and he'd look at and that massive black. And that's when I noticed, I couldn't, because you see, I, I'm looking down, but I could see Jesus' face. I could bear that power. But when I'd go to try to look at the fire, he would walk out and walk in. He'd go into the pie, he'd go into the fire, just walk in it, into that massive amount of energy. But he would look, and I've never seen love. I saw that. You could sense the love of God just, just pulling from Christ. And you could see Christ just giving love back and forth. It was just such a magnetism. I asked the stupidest question anyone would ever ask in heaven. I'm still embarrassed to say it. I'm laying on the floor. I asked that angel. I, I was very interested in the Trinity. They, they, they three, yet they one. And I said, where's the Holy Spirit? And I know the angel said, he's on the earth. I said, oh yeah, yeah, I know that. I, know. I felt so stupid. He's on the earth. Yeah, he's on the earth. He said he's on the earth. Oh, yes, yes, I knew that. After I was back in my own body, I, re I thought I felt like Clouseau. Yes, I know that. You know, I felt so stupid to ask such a dumb question at the throne of God. 